Hey guys, Emma Paraskevis here. So I've already done my brows off camera and I'm going to start by uh, concealing my eyelids and prepping it for eyeshadow with the NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard. Setting that with a translucent powder, I'm just going to go in with my Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Palette and using the colour Topaz to create a transition colour in my crease. I'm now just going to go in with that colour Tiger Eye and deepen up the crease and just keep building that colour until I'm happy with it. just taking that color bronzite and just focusing that on the outer corner of my eye. Now just going in with the colour quartz and highlighting my brow bone. I'm now just going in with my Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette and I'm going in with the colour Maiden and using that on the middle third of my eye and then I'm going to be popping Angel Fire on the inner third of my eye. Honestly, I would not recommend this palette. I think there are better Urban Decay palettes you can invest your money in. Now that I've finally built that colour up, I'm just going to go back in with the colour Bronzite on the outer corner of my eyes and blend it out before taking Obsidian and lining my lash line, creating a tiny flick at the end. I'm just going to coat my lashes with the Ciate London Wonder Wand Mascara and I'm going to build that up because I'm not going to be using false lashes in this tutorial. just moisturizing my face before going in with my all-time favorite Mecca Max illuminating primer and let me tell you guys this stuff is 
actually amazing. 10 out of 10. And then just popping a few drops of the Iconic London Illuminator in Original on my cheekbones before I put my foundation on just to give me an iridescent glow through my foundation. Then just taking my all-time favourite foundation, this is the NARS uh, All Day Longwear Foundation in the colour Stromboli. Taking my NARS Creamy Concealer again in the colour Custard and highlighting under my eyes. I'm also just highlighting the high points of my face. Just setting everything with a translucent powder. finish off my eyes so I'm gonna go in with topaz then bronzite and then obsidian popping the darkest color closest to my waterline and just sort of smoking that out finishing everything off with a mascara on my bottom lashes So now I'm just going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bronzer. Now this is a bit too cool tone for me so it makes my skin look a bit muddy. But if you are on the cool tone side, this would look amazing as it has gold reflections all through it. And it's absolutely gorgeous bronzer. <music> Now just contouring using the Revlon and Chloe Morello Contour Kit with the darkest contour shade. 
just hollowing out those cheekbones. Now just for blush I'm using MAC Petal Power and just popping that above the bronzer. For highlight, as always, I'm using the Urban Decay Illuminating Highlighter in the colour Luminous, I'm pretty sure. Everything will be linked below. This is my Holy Grail highlighter, um, and I'm so confused as to why there's so many bad reviews on it, but you should definitely get it. I'm going in with the lip pencil from Napoleon Purtis called Rococo Red, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced. Now just going in with the Napoleon Purtis Divine Goddess lipstick in the colour Aphrodite. Personally, I didn't like this red, so I went back over with the Estee Lauder Pure Colour Envy Lipstick in 330 Lethal Red, and this is a really true, vibrant blue tone red. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And till next time.